Ever wondered why it's so difficult to predict the weather? Today, I'll explain the connection between the weather and the butterfly effect. For that, I'll need a pendulum, a fractal and obviously, a living butterfly. And this is math. Hi, welcome! Predicting the weather, traffic or even the economy, it's no easy task. However, there are other things that we can predict with a high dose of certainty. Like eclipses or passing comets that can be predicted years in advance. So, why it seems to be impossible to do the same with rain? Meteorological services usually provide a prediction about three days in advance. Smartphones give you six days and some websites even show a monthly forecast. But in both cases, the prediction should be considered only as a trend. Everybody would love to know what will be the weather like next summer. Not me! Shh. So we can book our holidays on a sunshine week. Unfortunately, that's impossible. Rogério will now use a little experiment to show you one of the causes on the difficulty on predicting certain phenomena. This is the magnetic pendulum! Actually, it's just a toy you can buy online. This is a pendulum which, by definition, can swing freely. Agreed? At its tip, there's a magnet, which is attracted by other magnets which are placed at the base. When released, it swings between all three magnets for some time. And a bit more. Up until it loses energy and it's eventually attracted to one of the base magnets. The question is, are you able to predict which of the base magnets will win this magnetic fight? We use the computer to predict which of the base magnets will win this contest. Oh, and the trajectory obviously depends only on where we release the pendulum. I'm placing this image, a smaller one of course, at the base of the pendulum. This abstract-looking painting is actually very much scientific, as it was painted by a computer bearing these instructions. The black dots represent the location where we put the magnets. Then we assign a color to each of the magnets – red, blue and yellow. And we made a computer simulation to see where the magnet will end if dropped from a specific point in space. And the computer painted the point of origin with the color of the magnet that eventually attracted the pendulum. And this is what came out from the computer simulation. Of course that if the pendulum is released close to the red magnet, it will be immediately attracted to it. And the same happens with the other colors. And that is why a splash appears around each magnet. Besides those three predominant spots, there are areas in this image where you can only see a crazy mess of colors. Even when zooming on these crazy areas, you'll continue to see those colors all mixed up. This image is technically called a fractal, and you can see one every week at the opening titles of this show. There are a few points very close to each other that generate trajectories, which, although quite similar at the beginning, quickly become very different, bringing the pendulum to a completely unlike destination. When this occurs, we say that there's a sensitivity to initial conditions, i.e. a chaotic system. The phrase a butterfly flapping its wings in China can create a tornado in Europe refers to this type of systems. These systems are chaotic but commutative. That is, a butterfly here in somewhere shy can ruin the lives of many Chinese. If I release this pendulum while releasing the butterfly, it is possible that the beating wings of this insect can change the color where the pendulum is released, which causes the pendulum to stop swinging at a different magnet altogether. Let's see. Hey, Rogério, breaking news! At the outskirts of Beijing, a Chinese man crashed his bike and missed his wedding. The bride is furious at him. And she's a black belt that's a martial art thing. You've ruined that bloke's life, mate. It wasn't me, it's the butterfly's fault. Yeah, sure, blame it on the insect. Weather also has a chaotic nature. The weather is, indeed, very much like our pendulum. 
As in the pendulum example, there are some equations that can determine atmosphere conditions from meteorological data. And it is with these equations that meteorologists predict the weather for the following days. Only the atmosphere condition can't be accurately determined at a specific time. There is also a sensitivity to initial conditions, something that hinders long-term forecasts. And this is why we blame weather people when unexpected rain catches us off guard. Another example of a chaotic phenomenon is the state of the economy. As it happens with the weather, there are mathematical models which allows us to do some short-term economics forecasts. But predicting exactly what will happen in the economy in, let's say, six months or a year, it's impossible, even for a novel. And this is math. Thank you.